press start, and welcome to our next Let's Play of Nathan, a game Nathan will actually enjoy this time around, after the longness that is Kingdom Hearts. Now be, ju just, to, just to clarify, I may be a little bit agitated still, because we literally just ended Kingdom Hearts, yeah. <laughs> and um, in that last episode, I was very, very angry. <laughs> But I don't want to, I don't want to think about that game ever again. So I'm just gonna not gonna talk about it anymore. And so we're we're gonna play this. This game's probably only gonna be about like three, two or three episodes, right? Yeah, this game is really short. And then we'll move on to another good game, and I think Nathan will enjoy that one too, because it's not long. And I know what I'm <laughs> doing, a lot more in that one. Um, so yeah, we're home. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of linger on that <laughs> unnecessarily. There's, there it is. There's our home. Big, big ship. Ship boy. It's a big ship. Big ship boy. Also, episodes are going back to 20 minutes now. <laughs> <sighs> so this, episode, this Let's Play is probably only going to be about three episodes long. Yeah, this is really quiet. What the heck? Is it normally this quiet? <laughs> I mean, I haven't played this with the volume on before. Because I've only played this at like cl in class and whatever. I only played it in portable mode in public, and I don't usually have the volume on when I do that. Oh, yeah, and also I'm the one playing this game. Yeah. Nathan gets to sit in the gamer chair. Mm. I think we have, we, we kind of made this unspoken rule that whoever's playing <laughs> through the game just gets to sit in the gamer chair. <laughs> so, Nathan's, have you, you've only beaten this game once, right? But you know how to play it pretty well. Uh, I might be a little rusty on controls, but once I remember, yeah. it'll be, it'll be easy. Okay, yeah, I remembered the right button for that right away. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Just went right into the pole. Yeah, yeah, this game is really fast. Can you imagine why Nathan likes this game? Because I couldn't guess. Okay, I, I, I've already remembered the controls. <laughs> There's not a lot of things that you need in this game. Yeah, this game's, like, not perfect or anything. Um, but I think it's a fun little indie game that's, like, worth playing through. Oh, this... When I first played this game, this puzzle irritated me because I couldn't... Uh, I was like, what am I supposed to do here? I'm oh, on the yeah, button. Oh, yeah, same. <laughs> same. And uh, what what button, what button it, was it? ZR. Yeah, I thought I thought it was this one for the longest time. Oh. Like, I, it, it looks very similar to this, so I, would, I oh, kept yeah. doing this, and I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> but no, you have to do this. And then it worked. So, yeah, the reason you're going so fast is because this game is heavily momentum-based. So, Nathan's not going to be going very fast when he's just going straight like this, but when he's, like, going down a slope, then he's going to, like, go blazing down like you saw earlier. Is there, like, an option to turn the tutorials off? Uh, I don't know. I mean, this, this whole section is a tutorial section. Hmm. No, there's really, there's really none of that once we get out of here. Okay. Alright. And then we gotta go get another one, which you can see off in the distance. Yeah. I think I got about halfway through this game, or I got a pretty decent amount of the way through this game, but I got in, I got to this one section where you have to, like, it's like really big and open, and you have to like find all of these other like keys or something. And it just, like, it asks you to do, like, a lot of momentum stuff that I just wasn't good at yet. 
that point. Um, we'll see it here in a little bit, probably in the next part. You gotta go back up from the left. And then you jump and you go fast. So yeah, we're probably going to end up finishing this game in the same session that we finished Kingdom Hearts, which was my goal. Which I am excited about. Dang it. Remember, you have a double jump. Do not forget that. There you go. Nice. Yeah, apparently like speedruns for this game are like seven minutes long. I might actually I might actually watch one later. I don't just I'm I don't curious. think that in, Oh yeah, that does include include the tutorial. They like go they like do a glitch where they um <laughs> you don't need to stay on it the whole time. They do a glitch where, like, they glitch outside that wall and then they just speed by all of this stuff. Oh, wait, no, I need to go over. I think this is... This should be the end of the tutorial, actually. Go over... Yeah, this is the end. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, pretty, pretty quick. Quicker than the tutorial of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> But to be fair, this game's a lot simpler than Kingdom Hearts. It doesn't really need a whole lot of tutorial yeah. action. Well, it's better. Doesn't need to be. It can be better if it's simpler. Doesn't if I'm gonna be honest, if I, Nathan, I'm gonna be brutally honest. At this point, I'm kind of burned out on Kingdom Hearts for a while, because <laughs> right before we ended up finishing that, I had just finished the remind, the DLC for Kingdom Hearts Three, which was super hard. And it was just a lot of... As much as I love Kingdom Hearts, it's my second favorite game series of all time. I just got huge burnout from it. Alright, we're going to the bridge. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's highly unfortunate. No, no, no. I don't want to. I, uh... <laughs> I can go... I can go up. I just gotta... I can save myself. I just gotta dodge. Oh no, I couldn't dodge. Oh, dang. E you can do ah, it. Ooh, you can do oof, it. Eat. I F believe in you. Ah, no. Oh, well, now oh. you're sinking through the floor, so I don't believe in you anymore. <laughs> I, I can. Oh, oh no. I, I just. Oh, down. Oh no, thing, I'm falling. I can't stop. Oh. And now you're dead. Game over. Well. No, this is supposed to happen, because without that happening, there's no game. <laughs> on to Zelda. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a weird. Oh yeah, no, we got knocked our off our ship. Now we got it. We got to catch it up again. Catch up to it. Shut up. Let's get our ship. Yeah, these little things boost us. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that what those did. And it looks like you did too. <laughs> no, I knew what it did. I just oh. I just didn't I thought it was one of those walls that let you go on it like sideways if you had um, enough no, speed. I, it, I meant I meant to bounce back. I just didn't mean to hit that pole. There is one momentum thing later in the game that I that's really frustrating. But that's not for a while. Maybe maybe we're talking about the same part, I don't know. Oops, I 
Or maybe you'll just breeze through it and then you'll be like, oh, you suck at this game, Caden. Come on. Ramp time. Yeet. Also, there's not really, like, any... There's no bosses in this game, to my knowledge, unless there's, like, a final boss or something. No, there's not. Um, the game ends very... The game ends very suddenly. <laughs> like, when I was playing, I was like, wait, that's the end? What? Um, so, yeah, it... Uh, what you see here is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a simple game, but it's a pretty fun game. Mm. This part's not not really showing that off very well. <laughs> but the part right after this should be like a big open field that's really fun and fast. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, this is a really good... This, show, this gives off a good example of how fast like you can actually go. <laughs> yeah, if you hit something, it'll kind of kill your momentum. I mean, it's usually how that works. <laughs> you know, maybe. Oh, there's ship. We can get ship, maybe. And he misses it. That's okay. We still going fast. Whoosh. Oh, we're gonna hit it. There's not much to say about this game <laughs> after like we kind of talked about everything that this game has to offer it's like i said what you see is what you get imagine playing this in vr <laughs> first person yeah you <laughs> nah 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 really are you one to get motion sick nathan anyone would get motion sick moving that fast caden that's fair I was actually playing a couple of games in VR lately, and any game where you have to like move forward and jump in VR made me really dizzy, and I had to stop for a second, because I just like wasn't used to it. What's that one out of five thing? Oh, that's a collectible. But oh. We're not getting all of this. Look at how no. far I just launched myself. <laughs> that's the fun of this game. Going fast, jumping far, not hitting trees. Or rocks. Hopefully. I was actually expecting to hit a tree or a rock while I said that. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't hit those guys. Because I'm a pro gamer. Oh yeah, now it's introducing, like, bombs. This is sort of technically a new level, but, like, all the levels are just... They there's, all like, no them. transition between it. Well, there is you a mean, transition. like... What? Well, there is a transition, but not the kind of, like, level complete, and yeah. then you go into a new level transition. It's just like, mm. hey, you're here now. Yeah, it tells you at the top of the screen when you're in a new level. And then we do this. Oh, whoops. I let go of the button for a second. <laughs> that was my bad. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's being kind of laggy. It's not usually laggy like that. Hmm. I don't know. This game looks... This game's graphics are kind of not that great anyway. I think this is actually a... I think this was actually like a port of a mobile game, maybe. Let me look. Look it up real quick. It has a 9 out of 10 on Steam, but a 60% on Metacritic. <laughs> um, I think it will on Steam. So I think that speaks for itself. It's probably one of those like green light games. But I mean, it's not... It's clearly not supposed to be a high-budget title. You can just tell by the way that it's, like, barely an hour long. Yeah, this game... I got this game on sale for, like, 40 cents. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I got it on 40, for 40 cents, and then I was like, this game is really fun. Hey, Caden, you should get it, because it's super cheap and good. So how do you find all of these indie games, Nathan? That's what I'm curious about. Just I just look around on the eShop, man. Because like every every ten seconds, I see you playing like a brand new indie game that I've like never heard of. <laughs> I check. I look. I literally go through the entire great deals section on on the eShop. There we go. I don't know. At the time of this recording, there's just too many games coming out soon. So. I don't. Plus, I have, like, school and stuff, and I can't. Plus, I'm like, I don't just have a Switch like Nathan. I have. We have Steam. Steam. Yeah. But. I mean, how many games do you have on Steam, though? Like, not as many as you have on Switch. So, well, I mean, how many of them do you have left to beat? Uh, I don't know. I don't think Disney Infinity really counts. We're actually almost at time for the episode. We've got two more minutes. Maybe, perhaps, mayhaps. Oh, so close, so close. No, I did what I wanted to. Oh, okay. I wasn't. I I wasn't going for that collectible. I was like, <laughs> I just wanted a cool moment where it was going on some walls. This game just makes you feel cool because of how fast you go. Kind of like what Sega should do with Sonic. That's kind of what Sega's done with Sonic since the first game. But failed has failed in that they, a lot lately. Well, they've failed in the past few years. Yeah. Well, except with Sonic Mania and Generations. No, that wasn't Sega, remember? Sonic Mania was Christian Whitehead oh, yeah. and Pagoda West Games and others. Well, Generations was, was Sega. Generations was also like a decade ago. Oh my god. That, next year that game will be oh my god that'll be 10 years old <laughs> the next year sonic generations will be 10 years old i don't know how to feel about that <laughs> jesus oh my god maybe this should be a good time to end the episode yeah all right. Nice transition there. Yep. We'll see you guys next time for some more defunct. Goodbye. <laughs>